Hundreds of firefighters from the southeastern Greenville today. Crews are learning to fight fires caused by lithium ion batteries, but there's a catch. They can't actually put out the fires. Kelsey O'Donnell explains. Our observations. It can happen in a matter of minutes. Water doesn't always cut it when responding to fires caused by lithium ion batteries. Fighting lithium ion batteries is totally different than fighting your conventional fires. Captain Paul Horn with the South Greenville Fire District is one of more than 400 first responders from the southeast who are charged up Wednesday. These gentlemen and ladies are putting themselves in harm's way to protect us. So we just want to raise their level of awareness. Here in South Carolina, I don't know of that many EV fires yet. While confirmed numbers are low, crews in the South say they're trying to get ahead of the curve because in more heavily populated areas like New York and LA, it's a much different story. We started realizing we we're having uh, battery tool fires, we we're having uh, vape pen fires, we we're having an increase of fires in sanitation trucks. In his nearly three decades of fighting fires in New York, John Orlando says they've seen an increasing number of lithium ion battery fires ranging from cell phones and computers to e-bikes and vehicles. There's nothing out there that really puts the fire out. Fire experts say products that completely put out the fires are rare. Well, I can take that lithium ion battery and I can throw it in a bucket of water and it still is going to burn because it makes its own oxygen. However, there are few things that will help control the flames as the batteries naturally burn themselves out. Those include specialized containment structures and extinguishing agents. In a technologically advancing world, don't charge unattended. Don't go to sleep uh, with your phone on your bed uh, for the smaller devices. Same thing with a laptop. Firefighters say batteries that are overcharged, broken, and those powered by non-original manufacturing equipment are at greater risk of igniting. And while the fires can happen anywhere at any time, experts say it's important to be aware. Don't be afraid of your battery-powered devices. Battery fires are very rare. When they occur, they're ferocious, but they're very rare. To get rid of an old or used lithium ion battery or an item that contains them, you can reach out to your local fire department on where you can take them. In Greenville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. All right, well, fire crews say these fires can reignite after they burn out, so it's very important to properly dispose of them.